Well, as you may have seen in some of my other videos, I recently bought an AR-15. I got the Smith & Wesson M&P-15, the piston model. And I was looking around for cases because the case that comes with it, just to show you, here it is coming sliding through here. It is huge. It's, uh, it's like the Hindenburg going through there. It's so big. I can't, can't even come close to fitting it. So this case is uh, 47 inches long. The gun, when fully collapsed, is 33 inches long. So there is a lot of dead space in this case. Just to show you the case, I mean, it's a nice case, kind of a hard molded plastic case with some egg crate foam inside. So it holds the gun pretty nice. It's a very lightweight case. Just has the single carry handle here. But it is big. Big for the size of the gun that I have extra uh, 14 inches there that I don't need and I was having trouble fitting it in my trunk so I started looking around for some different bag options and there seems to be a sweet spot in bag size at 36 inches which sounded just right for me and I was looking around different brands 511 bag $120 you can get $300 bags spend as much as you want on a bag but I found this Condor bag $55 is the street price on it and it's it's been great it comes in a, a single rifle and a double rifle model. This is the single rifle model. I only have one, one rifle right now, so just got the single version. Figured it would be a little more efficient. Size-wise, 36 inches across, 12 deep, and then uh, 3 deep, or 12 wide, I guess. 3 deep, uh, top to bottom. And does hold one rifle, like I said. Comes with these pouches on the outside. The two here on the outside are identical to each other. And then the one in the middle is a little bit bigger. These do come off. They're just on the PALS webbing here, and they unsnap, and then you can snap them back on, snap them in place, and uh, yeah, they work pretty well. Somewhere there's a snap. There we go. So you can take these off if you want. Condor makes different pouches with matching colors. If you want to take these off, replace them with some different styles. The PALS webbing goes the full length of this outer zipper area here, so a couple different options there. The, uh, the pouches, like I said, these two outside ones are the same. The inner one is bigger, just to give you an idea. I think they're a little redundant, a little over-engineered, this bag, in a few spots. They have the, the snaps here, and then a piece of Velcro. And I think they could do with just the Velcro. You know, if you're concerned that this is a small piece of Velcro here, throw a little bit bigger area of Velcro here. I just think it's a little redundant with the snap and the Velcro, because I think the Velcro would hold it just fine. There is then an elastic strap here. That you can uh, kind of cinch down, I suppose, if you like. The inside of these pockets here, it does have a divider. So there's the main area here, and then the divider here, and you can put some smaller stuff, some papers, and instructions behind it. Just to show you how big they are, the pocket on this side, I have four uh, Magpul PMAGs in there. Probably could hold a fifth, you know, stretches out pretty well. So nice big pockets there. Works very well for that. The center one, again, also has the the two clips and some Velcro. This one I have a set of binoculars in from when I went to the range yesterday. But you could put probably some earmuffs, different things in here. Just one large pocket in the center. Again, has the strap for cinching it down some. Also on the center pocket, there is, let me get this snap back up area right here, you can velcroed area that you can put a, a morale patch or a mission patch or whatever you want on there. Nice touch. This bag comes in a couple different colors. This is the coyote version. There's also a black, I think an olive, and the digital camo. So a couple different options there. And then they make the extra pouches to, to match all of those. There are two, I guess, two main compartments. Aside from these small pouches, there's a 26-inch compartment here, which zips around the outside here. The zippers over here, you can lock the zippers. Just push these together like that. And then you can put a lock through there if you want to secure that. Otherwise, it zips around the outside. And opens up. Nothing special up here on the uh, top part of the flap, just, just solid. And here there are two Velcro lined pockets which run the entire length of the inside there, and they are padded as well. So you can put an extra handgun in here, or some documents, whatever you want, and nice and secured in here. And there's also, I suppose, some room on top of those if you, if you like.
the, the carry handle, before I get into the main compartment, a couple options to carry this. There's the handle here, and this has a Velcro, and then the two handles that separate, so nice carry option there. There's also the, the strap on the back, and this strap is, you can do a couple things with this. It's held in place by two pieces of Velcro here, and, uh, sorry, I was trying to get this in the frame, but uh, you can take this strap, carry it this way. Alternatively, you can detach this strap on the sides here, and then there's a couple of D-rings. You can affix it here and here, and then carry that bag, you know, kind of as sort of a, a side bag. Alternatively, use the strap, put it over your shoulder. Uh, another option you could even take, I suppose, to put the, the strap here to over here, create a little bit of an angle. So several different options for carry, or just take the strap off altogether and uh, just use the, the, the hand grip over on, on the side here. But then, like I so said, that snaps down, or uh, Velcro's down to keep that out of the way. Now, getting into the main compartment, here's another area where I think the bag is a little over-engineered. You know, this main zipper is very sturdy. I have no fears that it's going to come open. Over on the side here, it also locks, just like the, the other zipper. Push these together, and you can put a lock through there if you like. But otherwise, on the side here, two more clips. I think these clips are redundant. You know, the, like I said, the zipper is not going to come open, but you pop the clips open, you can then open the zipper. I can't see, you know, the only possible reason I could see where you would need these clips is maybe you want to throw the gun in, don't have time to zip it, you snap it up real quick, and then you go. I'm not sure what situation that would be in that you need to run away with the gun in your bag. Seems like if you're in that bad of a situation, then uh, you're going to leave the gun out. So I think these are redundant. I'd probably cut them off if I could do it neatly. Maybe someone, maybe Condor can chime in, tell me why they're there. But for my purposes, could do without them. Anyway, onto the inside of the bag. Top here, kind of like the inside of that front pocket. Nothing special here, just a flat top. And then, space for the gun. There are two Velcro straps here that will hold it in place, two angled pockets on the side here, and then you can just get to the gun and, uh, and take it out. I put the gun in, I was a little concerned yesterday, I went to the round, the range rather, uh, shot, I don't know, 100 rounds through this. The barrel, as you know, gets pretty hot with that. I was concerned putting it back in this case with the barrel still kind of warm. Uh, I let it cool down a little bit, it was still decently warm when I put it back in the case and have not had any problems with the case melting or really no marks at all from that. So. Uh, I suppose if you put it back in the case super hot, maybe, but overall it did very well with, uh, with the concern I had for that. Otherwise, put the gun back in under these two little corners for straps. Put the straps back down, and then it's very secure. The padding here, this is three inches deep, so plenty deep all the way around. They have, like I said, this is the single version of the bag, single rifle version. They do have a double rifle version where there's a flap that goes right through here and then put a gun on each side. But again, for my purposes right now, just wanted one for the, the single, single gun. So, I think that's about it for this Condor bag. I've been very happy with it, again, for the money. $55, kind of a good mid-range price. Super... Good quality. I think it'll last uh, last a long time. Take a lot of beating. These pouches you can swap out and uh, make it as customizable as you want. So if you're looking for a bag for a single rifle, check this uh, this Condor bag out. It's a great option.